Even some Democrats say it would be nothing short of a miracle for the Democrats to take both of these seats. Do you think it's a long shot? It always helps to have, you know, your majority in the U.S. Senate, but these, these races are going to be close. And the Senate will be close regardless of, of what happens. And I think it highlights how important it is that Democrats and Republicans figure out a way to come together to solve problems. Working together sounds so good, and yet the situation here in Washington is anything but. There are a handful of Republican senators who are going to contest the results of the Electoral College. What do you think of that tactic? Well, it's unfortunate that it's being contested. Uh, the states have certified these elections. Some were close, but that, that's you know often, often the case. But it's very clear that uh, we, we have a new president being inaugurated in just a couple of weeks, a new vice president. Is it a dangerous precedent? Is it I dangerous? Think it's, uh, yeah, I, dangerous. I, I think it's, uh, we run the risk of you know, setting a precedent that somehow Congress should be involved in deciding who the next president is. That is not how our system is set up. Voters should decide who the next president is. States should certify elections. It does highlight that we are at a divided time on one hand, but let me also say, I've spent a, a month in the United States Senate now, and there's, there's optimism from both sides of the aisle about trying to get to a better place. The astronaut turned freshman senator from Arizona, now working to help a country buckling under the weight of a worsening pandemic. Arizona has the highest rate of transmission right now. Of and COVID. one of the lowest rates of vaccination, too. Are you disappointed with this vaccine rollout? and? and where do you place the blame? Yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed. Uh, we needed a national plan. We didn't have that. Some states don't have a very good plan. Arizona, I think, is one of them. Uh, we have to do better. We know this vaccine is safe and it works. It's the thing that's going to get us to um, the herd immunity we need. People need to be, be vaccinated when it's available. Well, we got the politics out of the way. Mm -hmm. Gabby did not stay silent. In fact, that was the real reason we came mm -hmm. together again. We have our exclusive conversation with Senator Kelly and Gabby Giffords on the 10th anniversary wow. of the January 8th shooting that changed their lives. And can I just give you a preview? Yeah, please. Gabby has not lost any of her spunk, her <laughs> sizzle, or her uh -oh. sass. And I cannot wait for people to see how far she's come and how, how well she's oh, doing. Oh, I so look forward to that. When are you going to have that one? That's Friday morning Friday for morning. today. Got it. Okay.